Did you know Mussolini was a member of the Italian Socialist Party and that he is known as the father of fascism? He supported a one-party state and strong government intervention in the economy. Does this mean fascism is really a continuation of socialism and therefore actually left-wing? How does this all work? These are the tough questions that all leftists from Marxists to anarchists and even to social democrats have to answer. I've already made a video on the Nazis and whether they are socialists, so check that out after this. The main narrative is that Mussolini was kicked out of the PSI because of his support for Italians joining the war effort that was against the party's belief in neutrality. And after gaining power, he led a revised form of Marxism with a one-party state and all of that. But this isn't really right. Benito Mussolini supported a corporatist order of the economy, which had large government intervention. This is contrasted from the socialist economy, as the intent of socialists is to abolish corporations by liberating the workers with common ownership and other benefits. But corporatists want to establish further privatization of production, industries, and the economy. Socialism uses government intervention in the economy to benefit the workers. Corporatism uses it to benefit the nation's wealth at the cost of personal freedom and workers' rights. As for the one-party state argument, it is based on nothing. Socialist countries have a one-party state known as a vanguard party that directly serves the people and which has a goal of furthering the nation to complete socialism and onwards. The fascists have a one-party too, but none of these principles are in mind, and often the party's members are used for union busting, book burnings, and imprisonment of socialists. The similarities aren't as damning once the context is added, and the real intention is revealed. If fascist Italy was left-wing, the economy wouldn't have been so privatized, and if the fascists were socialists, they wouldn't imprison and martyr socialists throughout their regimes. Tomorrow I will have a video on why liberals often side with the fascists, so subscribe for that.